Uh, you also have then on both sides of the jog wheel you have these pre-allocated uh, um, soft keys that again can be reprogrammed but by default they come with uh, on the left hand side uh, your automation um, window. Uh, you also then have the active automation modes that are um, currently in your Pro Tools session. So at this point I have touch, latch, touch, latch and read on at some point. I think there's also off in there as well. Uh, you can also, at this point, if you hold down one of these keys and touch one of the faders on the S3 or uh, on the select buttons, you can actually assign that track or tracks to touch mode. So it's a quick way of assigning multiple tracks to, to uh, touch, latch, or whichever um, automation mode you want to go into. Uh, if you hit the Alt button on that, that section of, uh, of uh, soft keys, you now go into the actual uh, automation modes, which uh, you'll have here, uh, your preview, you've got your preview punch, suspend preview, capture, punch capture, and so on and so forth with auto match. So you open up a lot of the uh, automation functionality just within this panel with the option of Alt and uh, Alt Off. Very cool. On the right hand side, you have more functionality to do with banking. So again, if you're on the Mixer page, uh, you can see this uh, clearer, I think, than showing you on the S3 at the moment. But you can bank between tracks uh, with banks of eight. Or if you hold down the shift, you can nudge one track at a time. So again, if you don't have an S3 on this system, you can still use the touch screen here to mix if you so required which lets you do a few fingers, kind of a one. So as again, it's just a quick navigation tool while using the iPad above. Um, you also then have your uh, extra functionality with the, um, with the jog wheel. So you have your horizontal zoom and you have a vertical zoom as well. So uh, I don't know if you can see that on the screen there, but yep. you can zoom in and out using the um, jog wheel. Again, not too dissimilar to what the uh, Artist Transport could do, but again, just brings it over to this uh, dock. Uh, you also have, um, with the jog and shuttle, which I showed you earlier, you have a secondary function holding shift where you can mark in and out in Pro Tools in the timeline, same as you would have done with the uh, up and down arrows on the keyboard. Yeah. Uh, you have a move selected, do to selected or do to all, very similar to what you would have had on an icon console. Um, if you'd ever use one of those, uh, then you can flip between your workstation app that you have selected. In this case, it's the UCOM um, settings folder, well, settings uh, page. And uh, then you've just got save, cancel, and OK. And also, if you hold save and cancel together, it will automatically open up the UCOM uh, control software. Cool. So additional to that, um, there's still some other cool features that the dock has. Um, you have two assignable um, touch strips. You have a uh, horizontal and vertical. These come pre-assigned, so I'll show you up on the screen now. These come with uh, functions already assigned, which is flick between mix and edit page in Pro Tools. Uh, you can also go to the system usage page, which is there. Yeah. And you also have, uh, if you've got the, uh, <laughs> if you've got, yeah, if you've got twelve point five in the collaboration, you can go to the artist chat window, uh, and uh, the show hide floating windows, which again is useful if you're getting a very cluttered screen. On the um, opposite side here, on the on the vertical strip, we have uh, by default, we have clip gain line, so we can view the clip gain line in Pro Tools. Nice. And we also have the clip gain wheel, so that, that lets you scroll up and down with the clip gain window as clip gain line. And uh, we also have, if you have a selection, um, you can also go to the phase window by the, hitting the touch strip there. So again, these are um, predetermined or pre assigned to these uh, these strips but they can be completely customizable so if you don't want them to do those functions you can reprogram it to your heart's content 
Worth also mentioning is you have a monitor control pot here, which if you have a Yukon compatible uh, monitor box. Uh, like a DAD? Like a DAD, or um, I think I believe it can map quite easily to an Xmon if you mm -hmm. have one of those lying around, or pick one up second hand <laughs> yeah. maybe from somewhere. Yeah, lying, lying around. I think yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but it will map to the main volume of that. I don't think there's any additional functionality as yet to switch between sources, but it was discussed that potentially at some point these strips could become your source inputs cool but at this point they don't so the last thing i'd like to show you which i think is one of the coolest little um things that i didn't realize it was going to do until i got it was again those familiar with the ipad app if you're looking through uh your section you've got the soft keys buttons that are appeared on the bottom you can either have the option of transport uh showing there but cool. as we've got a transport on the dock really yeah no need absolutely for that. yeah so i like to show the soft keys that I've got programmed here and you can scroll between the soft keys. Uh, so additional ones to what you have here and here, you can have your own custom set of um, soft keys on this page. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but you might notice that the colors of the soft key buttons down here- Yeah, they are changing color. Are changing. Following the... Yeah, they, they match the, the follow, or they, they follow the colors of the, um, soft key assignments that you've made nice so again quick navigation easy to see where you are and um, makes this whole section kind of a huge soft key control um, area which again comparing it to the artist control which had i think eight i think it was eight soft keys uh, it makes it extremely competitive to that as a product and a lot of other control surfaces out there and I think the thing that it's always difficult to get across, certainly in a video, is this thing's really well put together. I mean, yep. it's, it's not, uh, how can I say this politely? I always felt with the artist series stuff, when you started bolting it together, it was always a little bit yep. plasticky. Yeah, there is definitely a more solid feel. I think they've, they've taken that from the S3 mm -hmm. as it was alive. I mean, it very, it, yeah, all, it so. does look part of the same workflow. I mean, it's, it's a fabulous partner, but I think as you've shown, you don't have to have the two together. No, it can not. work very much as a standalone piece of kit. Definitely if not. you then want the tactile control of the S3, I mean, say not quoting numbers, because I'm never going to go there, mm. but it's not an expensive solution to put a dock, an iPad and an S3 together into your control no, platform. definitely not. I mean, definitely not. I mean, it's, it's, as I showed, you, you can uh, potentially still run a, a, a mix session from the iPad as a touch screen and have one physical fader still to control things. There's uh, also backward compatibility with the Artist series. So um, I believe, I read this somewhere, I believe you can have four Artist mix hooked up with this. So two um, aside and that one in the middle. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I think you'll be limited on what potentially you can do with VCA spills, mm -hmm. but um, not tried it personally. But uh, in in principle, it can still work with that. I think it can also work with things like the artist control, but again, I, I don't really see much point in that when you've got yeah, a dot exactly. sitting there. So. But all, all in all, it's uh, yeah, great, great bit of kit. I mean, it, feel, well. it feels really nice. As you say, that, that jog shuttle wheel's really lovely. Mm -hmm. um, all the pots have got a very positive feel about mm -hmm. them. Yep. Um, what's not to like? Exactly. Good bit of kit. Bit of a winner, I think. Excellent stuff. And on that, I think we'll close. Mm -hmm. Ian, thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Anytime. We'll be popping back here very shortly to play on um, this one's big brother, the S6, which they have over that away. Um, but for now, He's been Ian from Jigsaw24. I've Thank been you. James from Pro Tools Expert. We'll see you again soon for some more gear talk. Cheers, bye.